and Brian with Two A Guys and Gear again. Today we're going to be installing a low profile gas block. Okay, so we chose the 87 Industries uh, low profile gas block. It's a US made stainless steel unit and this is called their gunsmith gas block. So instead of um, just having a set screw to hold it on, which it does, it also has to be uh, drilled and pinned into the barrel. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down the uh, the front end of this AR. We're going to take the hand guards off, the muzzle brake off, and the, uh, front, sight the front sight post off. And then we'll uh, get it set up in the drill press and we'll be back in a second. All right, now we have the barrel. It's been all prepped and ready. Everything removed, stripped down. Um, this is the kit. And this is what comes in the kit. We have the one stainless steel block, two roll pins, set screw, Allen, Loctite, and drill bit. Now we're gonna uh, get ready and start installing everything. All right, now we're gonna start installing the gas tube. Yes, I cheated. I pre-started the roll pin. Pretty tight. Yeah, just like get it a little bit more. What I did earlier is I marked the barrel with a pencil and then marked it here. Make a big old hand there, Sean. Trying to uh, see so if can get it uh, pretty close to being lined up to the hole. Basically what that's doing is that's centering everything. So now what we're going to do to get it ready for the uh, drill press to make sure everything stays in line is so we're going to put the uh, set screw in with the Loctite and that'll hold it down. So and I think this is what separates this kit from the others is a lot of the others they're just set screwed into place but this one's actually going to be pinned in place. So it's a nice quick and easy repair or mod to make if you're just set screwing it but we're going to take the extra step and go with the uh, pin. All right, now we got uh, we got it installed just with the uh, set pin, and I don't know if you can make that out. Now this is where we have to drill and run the new, um, put the new pin in. Which I, I don't understand why they just didn't make this a hair longer and utilize the original. Pin, they could have just reused that. Okay, we're back. So now we got it set up in the drill press. As you can see, it's uh, it's called the Gunsmith uh, gas block, but we've kind of done the uh, the backyard garage gas block here. So I think we'll be all right though. So what we did was uh, we put the gas block in the barrel uh, in the drill press vise, and we clamped it all down. And uh, we made sure everything's level, the barrel's level to the drill press uh, table, and the table's level, so we're good there. 
Um, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fire it up, we're going to put some um, cutting oil on and we're just going to drill nice and slow. Sean's going to go ahead and do that now. Keeping, uh, what we're doing is we're keeping it lubed up with cutting oil and uh, we're stopping it occasionally just to clear out uh, the, the metal chips. Make sure we have a nice clean hole. So maybe it's overkill, I don't know, but the, uh, you know, the other option is to buy a new barrel and we're trying not to do that. So we're trying to make it work on the first time. And so far so good. It uh, seems like a, a good part and the kit's got everything in it you need, so it's pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that the key to drilling metal is uh, going nice and slow and uh, using lubricant. How far through are you, you think? A little over a quarter. Okay. Have you hit the barrel yet, do you think? Uh, probably. There's a lot of materials come out. We'll take the time and get this broken down and clean it up real good with the degreaser. And uh, then what we'll do is we'll be right back. And once we get it all cleaned up, we'll put the final roll pin in and hopefully we're set. Okay, we're back. We just got everything cleaned up. So everything turned out great. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the, uh, the new roll pin in. And then the reason we did this, actually, we're putting a free float tube on. We took the hand guards off and the front sight post off, and we're, uh, we're going to set it up with the UTG free float tube. So, so that's it. So everything, all in all, was really simple to install. Um, like we said, the, the one thing that could have been done differently, I think, is if they made that block about an inch longer. You can see we probably wouldn't have to go through what we did with the drilling, and we could have utilized that, uh, that existing groove. So that's it. So um, Sean, he's going to tap in the... Uh, pin now and then a uh, little slider tube on and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, so now we're, uh, we've got the, uh, got the roll pin in. Gave us a heck of a time, but we got it in. So uh, that's what the finished product looks like. And uh, All in all, it's a really easy install. You know, with the exception of what happened with the roll pin, it was no problem. So uh, yeah, the whole point of this was to put this free float tube on. So that's it. So that's the uh, UTG uh, Slimline 15 inch um, uh, free float tube. So we're going to go ahead and get that bolted on, get a new muzzle brake bolted on, and uh, we'll be set here in about another 10 minutes. Okay, so here it is. This is the reason why we, uh, we put the 87 Industries uh, low-profile gas block on, is we wanted to put this, uh, this free float tube on. So that's the finished product. Everything worked out really well. So uh, we're going to take it out and do some shooting. So if you liked our channel, please subscribe.
and uh, check out 87 Industries also. They make a great gas block. See you.